I'm the Adams and I'm going to break a world record. I'm going to get a whole pile of people to help me break that world record. We're going to have a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Twirly. Twirly. Where I start today is with a great idea, some support from a couple of great companies and, and organisations, and the goodwill of a number of promoters in Southside. Tonight I'm headed down to Frimley Green. Uh, Salsa Esperanza are putting on a party night and I'm going down to uh, get my dance shoes on, enjoy a night out as I would normally. I come down here about once every three months uh, and hopefully we're going to see uh, uh, Richard Marcel, uh, Renata who runs the club, Gil and Shelley who are two of the top salsa dancers and uh, Lakeside's a lovely venue to dance at. I'm 50 years old, I live in London, uh, always lived in London. Uh, what do you want to know about me? I, I, I had a decent education, I went to UCS school, uh, which is in Hampstead. Uh, I got some O-levels, I got some A-levels. I then decided I didn't want to go to university but wanted to be something completely different, which wasn't what my parents were expecting at all. Uh, I went round uh, Europe, because in those days that was sort of the world. Uh, my, I, you know, I bought myself a little minivan and just set off round the world, uh, which included most parts of Europe. I thoroughly enjoyed it, uh, came back, and didn't really know what I wanted to do for a living, but knew I had to make a living. Uh, but I did have a little minivan, and it occurred to me that back in those days, uh, it was really hard if you bought a sofa or a fridge, it was impossible to, uh, to get it to your house when you wanted to. You had to sort of almost do it yourself. So I set up a little business where I went and collected things for people from those various shops. Um, I think my contribution could be is as somebody on the salsa scene, as a professional that's been doing it for many, many years, um, and through my work with television, I can hopefully inspire more people with Lee and help him to do that, just support him in what he needs.